All black suit, this strip is safe, Milano. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. It's BK Motherfucker Video and Motherfucker Video. What the fuck going on, okay? I'm back with a story time, y'all, okay? This is gonna be the time when I got fired. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. Like, damn. But it's okay because, look, I'm about to tell y'all what happened to let that happen because it led to what happened because of how it happened. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't even know. Honestly, karma is a bitch and it's gonna get there. That's all I gotta say. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned if you wanna see more, okay? Let's get right into it. Pick a look, because you know I'm about to talk OD. So, boom. Y'all, I was working at this pizza shop or whatever. It's not too far from my house or whatever. But I was working there for like probably like three, four months or whatever. So, you know, the first week, it's not even bad. You know, you see everybody, everybody's really nice to you. Then it's like probably like the third, fourth week your ass starts seeing like a little shift in it and it's just like you see the, the true colors for people so boom i got along with this girl uh let's just call her kelly probably like the third probably like the third month i was there that's when everything started like shifting into like being bad or whatever because it was like at first everybody knew like the reasons why i was late like the all the managers even the owner knew like the reason why i was late because i was always walking to work like my mom at the time she like didn't really want to drive and then i didn't have my license at the time so it was just like you know a lot going on so it was just like my only way to go was to walk because also i wanted to save all my money that i freaking made because i really wasn't making as much money because i barely was getting out of there so it was just like a lot of reasons why i didn't want to spend money you know what i'm saying i had the money i just didn't want to spend it kept walking to work i kept telling them like yeah uh, i'm gonna be late like five ten minutes because that was the, that was the long like honestly the max i was late every other day like not every other day wait i'm dragging it i'm dragging it <laughs> but it's like every time i was late i was always late like probably like five to ten you know what i'm saying like it was in between like that and the people that i was changing the shifts with wasn't even mad so it was just like I was just really annoyed with like just everything because my job is to just answer phone calls freaking like put the damn sticker on the damn like let's say this is the pizza box put the sticker on the pizza box put it right there and boom delivery guy picks it up and takes it but other than that like that's all I do and I box the boxes and that's it like and watch TV because that's really what the fuck the job is so freaking easy so boom I answered one of the phone calls it was like probably like 11 12 o'clock so anyway boom I answered the phone call and I'm just like hey uh you know a piece of shop whatever take out or deliver so he tells me like delivery so I'm like all right cool boom I'm listening to him he talking I'm like putting it in the computer I'm repeating it back and he catches the attitude so I'm like lost as to like you know what I did wrong because all I'm doing is like repeating what you said. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want olives on my damn pizza. I don't even like olives. So it's just like, I don't understand what you're mad at. Like, <laughs> figure it out. So anyway, boom, um, he gets mad and he's just like, let me speak to your manager. So I'm like, sir, the manager is um, a bit busy right now. She doesn't want to talk to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to like calm him down because I'm like, I'm literally giving you what you want. Like, I don't understand what's the attitude for it. So boom, I'm like, okay, whatever. Like this nigga, this nigga just clearly want a little discount because I don't even understand. I'm not even angry right now. So whatever, boom. Call the manager. She answers the phone and she's like, hello, like whatever. She's talking to them. So on the phone, on God, I wanted to spaz so hard. Like you can even tell like I wanted to spaz because it was just like, the guy was like, yeah, she was rude as hell. She was telling me that you guys ran out and now um you're telling me that you still have the product and it's just like she's lying and i'm just like what you're going this hard about a pizza no like it was just like so much wrong i'm just like okay whatever i don't even care so boom she fixed it she fixed it and then she's just telling me like nah just calm down or whatever do you need some time to yourself so i'm like whatever can i get a break so then she boom she puts me on break for like an hour so then i come back and i finish my shift and then I had to go in like the next day. So I go in the next day and it was a different manager. It was the guy, uh, cause it's like four, I think it's like three guys and the, she's like the only girl manager or whatever. So the other three guys, they're pretty cool. But one of them, I dead don't like, like he just be acting so snobby. Like he like runs it or like he's the owner and he's just like cool with the owner. Like relax, like relax. It's not even that serious. He ends up um, working with me or whatever. So boom. Cause I think it was like some guy, like some, somebody that was supposed to work with me didn't show up. So he had to work with me or whatever to help me out. So boom, he's with me, helping me out. 
and then it was just like one second like he leaves and then it was like where where i stand it's like the stereo is right below me so it's just like if somebody comes in it's like the register and the computer's right there but the stereo is like right like below me so boom i'm standing there and i kick it by accident and i turn the channel so it's like really staticky on the whole other side of the restaurant where everybody's sitting so boom they like he runs over there he's like what the what are you doing and i'm just like what's wrong like what, what happened so he's like you change the channel so i'm like my bad i'm gonna change it back so boom i change it back but then he's like wrong channel like he catches like a whole attitude with me so i'm like oh okay like you know what i'm saying like i'm not i'm not gonna really spaz on you until i really feel like you really need to get spazzed on because it's just like you're probably just going through it right now i'm gonna just let you be you know what i'm saying but like he just kept going kept going kept going one time like i think he was like telling me like i'm not doing nothing or like i need to be doing something or something like that and literally i've boxed the boxes i've wiped down the counter like five thousand fucking times i wiped down where they where they slide the food i wiped that down five thousand times because i hate to see food on a freaking counter because it's so nasty like ugh. so anyway every time i work it's always clean I, I sweep all day so it's just like i didn't understand what he wanted me to fucking do he was like you know what just go home so i'm just like I'm gonna go home you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go home that's cool so boom i get off work i think it was probably like 10 o'clock that time i got off work so when i got off work my friend it was his birthday so he was like yeah yo i'm about to come get you blah blah, blah. i gotta run i'm like bro you gotta run me out so boom he pushes up with his three friends and i'm just uh i get in the car whatever so boom, when i get in the car it was like it was like we went to uh edgewood i think that's where we went and we was just walking in the street it was lit that I, it was lit that friday i'm not even gonna lie to you it was like the whole freaking it was just lit like, when we get into the car he's driving um trying to drop me off because i think everybody else lived like further than me or something like that so boom he's dropping me off he's uh driving so i wake up i remember i remember sleeping in the car and then i wake up and everybody else is asleep and daryl he was like up or whatever he's driving so boom um next thing you know like i go back to sleep wake up to a car accident like literally we, we hit the median and it was so crazy how it like happened bro like i just remember sleeping waking up seeing like the east uh i seen a sign that i freaking know so it was just like i seen the sign and i was just like oh, okay i'm almost home so i go back to sleep and then it's like next thing you know like i wake up to the crash and it was like my head was gushing bleeding this is why i have like the scar right here i'm not really sure if you guys can see it but also my eyebrow is cut because i had stitches in my face i had like 12 stitches and then my nose was broken and my cheekbone was broken and my shoulder was dislocated there's just so much shit wrong and the crazy thing was my birthday was three fucking days after three three days after yo and i was so mad because i'm just like yo first of all i rented out a whole airbnb it was like 400 it was like 350 i'm not even going to lie to you but it was like a cute ass airbnb that i really wanted because i was like bro i really want this freaking house my sister was coming up from new york so i was like i need to have a spot where everybody could sleep so it was like my sister my friend oh my 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 three friends actually and then it was like the guy I was talking to at the time, his friend also was there. And it was, it was just like, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that really wants to spend the night, like if you got too lit, whatever you could spit, ah, you could spend the night or whatever. So it was just like, you know, I was thinking like that. That was like probably like my first time actually doing that. So I was so mad because it was like I got into the accident. Then I had to freaking like, you know what I'm saying? It was just, it was just so much wrong that day. Like it was just so much wrong. So boom, I'm in the emergency room, gushing blood, like my whole dress. Like I, first of all, I had on an all black dress. So good thing I had on an all black dress, but it was just like, you could still see the blood on my dress. It was like, that's, that's how much blood I was freaking like leaking out of my damn head. So I'm in the ambulance and I knock out, I wake up and I just see lights then it was just me and the guy that was in a passenger seat that was uh in the emergency room i'm not really sure if i should say names or whatever but i already said daryl so i'm gonna just say alan because why the fuck not so yeah so alan he was in the freaking emergency room and it was just me and him because everybody else was pretty like fine daryl the only thing that, that happened wrong i think like his the steering wheel hit his chest so it was like something wrong like with his like something was wrong with his chest i forgot things like his lung he quote unquote thought he was fine or something like that but i'm not really sure but i just know me and alan was the only ones that was like we stood in the hospital for like good like hours like a couple of hours that's what happened i tried to tell my job right so i tell my job like yo i just got to accident. i went there 
with the band you know what i'm saying like wait hold up with the damn thing on my shoulder like this my eye patch like it was just i went there looking like i just got out of the emergency room so they're like oh my god like what happened and the manager the one that just told me to go home or whatever was like oh i'm sorry that happened to you you know what i'm saying i'm just looking at this nigga like fuck you bitch like you know what i'm saying my damn arm brace like I don't even like you like that like <laughs> it was so funny so i i keep telling them like yo when can i go back to work because i'm not even gonna lie to you like i was i'm a like i'm one of those people that like even if i do get hurt like i'm not even going to act like i'm hurt because it's like i got things to do okay we we, we not resting for nothing i have stitches in my face I got stitches in my face this cut is like deep as hell like I could put my finger in it so it was just like that I couldn't even they couldn't even stitch it back up they said it had to heal by itself so it was just like it was just like it looked so bad like it just looked so nasty and then it was like my nose it was broken but like you know what I'm saying like they couldn't do anything they just told me to go to a damn like freaking surgeon and see if I need surgery or something like that the day of the uh, actual kickback like I was walking around I'm dancing I'm like yeah it's lit my mom like you good like, I'm straight. What you mean? We first of all, why is there a cat in my trash right now? Get the fuck. Look at him. Hold up, y'all. I'm about to turn. What the fuck? Stop playing. What the fuck? Stop playing. What the fuck is that? Who is ah! this? My nigga. <laughs> Continuing with, the, with, continuing with the damn story. So, boom. I'm freaking telling... I'm asking my job, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, can I go back to work? Because damn, now it's like the 15th or whatever. Of course, I went to the party. It was cool and calm collective. I got lit. Whatever. I was lit as hell. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Like, everybody that showed up, I was already lit before they came. But anyway, um, I asked my job, like, when am I going to be put back on my schedule? They was telling me, like, oh, you ain't tell us, like, if you were still working with us because... You know, you just got into an accident. So I'm just like, just because I got into an accident doesn't mean I'm not working with y'all. So they was like, oh, okay, just give us some doctor, uh, like a doctor note. So I'm like, okay, cool. I had I had another appointment to go check up on my injuries, whatever. So I was like, all right, that's just gonna be my time, my doctor's note. So boom, I get the doctor's note. They told me to be out of work for three weeks, my doctor's note said. So it was from the seventh to like the 20 something, I'm supposed to go back to work. They put me back to work on the 12th. So I was just like, how the fuck am I going back to work on the 12th? Does that make sense? Like, I don't understand. So that's when they thought like, oh yeah, you know, we thought you wasn't working back with us because you didn't come that day. But I was like, why would I co go back to work three days after I got into an accident? You understand what I'm saying? Like, it was just like, what the fuck, or three, four, five, whatever days. Like, it just made no sense. So they was like, bring the doctor's note. So I brought the doctor's note and they just like ripped it in my face. So I'm like, what? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on here? So they were just like, oh, uh, the the owners is uh, telling you to call them. So I'm like, okay, I'll call her. Like, no problem. So I finally get her number and I call her one morning and she's like, yeah, Janaya, uh, we're, we're deciding to just let you go because uh, you're late a lot. Um, you got into an accident. We understand that, but you didn't give us any doctor's note. And when you did give us a doctor note, it was too late or something like that. And I was like, how the fuck was it too late when I gave it to you like five days after the accident? You understand what I'm saying? So it was just like, they was coming up with all these excuses for like letting me go when like they all understood at the time, like about being late. You know what I'm saying? Like I understand that, but they, it's not like I never told them what was going on. And they told me like, it was okay. As much as they said it was okay, you know what I'm saying? And I wasn't even late as often. I was late like probably five minutes. I swear to God, like it was like never fucking 20 minutes. You know what I'm saying? Like never even 15. Like I was always like five minutes and I was just like me walking like from freaking the stop sign to like where I needed to go. And that would take me like a long time because these roads is so long. But like I was, you know what I'm saying? It was just like, it was just so crazy. Then it was like when I tried to get a damn, um, the release paper, I forgot what's the, what's, what's the paper for? I, for, I forgot what it's called. We like, you know, I'm, I'm fired. You know what I'm saying? The, the statement to say that I'm fired. I kept asking for it. And then she just was like, why you need that? Or like, you know what I'm saying? Like what you need that for, blah, blah, blah. And we're gonna give it to you, just wait, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, I called her a couple of times cause I needed it for the time. Cause I think they was like boosting up my mom's rent because I was working there. Like I was making money at that spot, I'm not even going to lie. 
and it was just like it was boosting my mom's rent so i needed that to like let them know like i don't work there no more so she just kept like harassing me like just if you call us one more time i'm going to call the cops and say you're harassing us i'm like what i just want my paper like what are you talking and i just want my last check like i was just so mad bro like i don't understand how calm i was like i had to even tell my mom like yo ma I handle this because on god if i go over there i'm cursing them out and she knew for a fact i was going to do that so boom she ends up going over there and she gets the paper the same fucking day she goes. I was like, so when I asked, they didn't want to give it to me. But when you asked, they gave it to you. Wow. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was just so mad, bro. But like, yeah, like I got fired. And it was just, it, it, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But fuck that job. They do have some good ass pizza though. Don't even play. That shit tastes really good when it wants to get out the oven. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, like, why do these owners and freaking managers be swearing that they're doing something? Like, I get it. You running something, you trying to feel like you know the boss, whether you want people to listen to you, but it's just like, you know what I'm saying? You got to have respect for people for people to respect you. Here we are. I like, comment, subscribe. More story times coming. Um, more videos with me and Cam coming. Uh, just everything, bro. We about to move into a spot. We freaking, we going up 2020. I'm telling y'all, like, y'all not understanding. You feel me? I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. You already know the fuck going on. But anywho. Bitch, I'm peace.